Hello everyone. In our previous video, we talked about clause number four, context of the organization. Today, we will talk about clause number five, leadership. Leadership is outlined as 5.1 leadership and the commitment, 5.2 policy, which is divided into establishing the food safety policy and the communicating food safety policy. And the third section is organizational rules, responsibilities, and authorities. According to ISO 2018 standard, the top management shall clarify leadership and the commitment in accordance with the food safety management system. To prevent confusion, the standard defines top management as a group or person who control or direct the organization at the highest level. The auditor will require the presence of top management to discuss matters related to leadership. The old version already outlined examples for top management leadership inside the food safety management system, including establish the food safety policy, provide sufficient resources, share the culture of control improvement, communicate with the interested parties, attend the management reviews, appoint food safety team leader. Additionally, in the new version, the top management shall also Make sure of fulfilling the integration between the food safety goals and the organization's strategic plan. Ensure the integration of all food safety management system requirements into organization business process. The second section is 5.2 policy which include 5.2.1, establishing food safety policy. The directions for establishment of food safety policies remain the same as the past version. What means by policy? The food safety policy involves the direction and the intentions of the top management. ISO 22000 requires the food safety policy should be appropriate to all purposes and the context formulated by the organization must be committed as the following. Providing a framework for the objectives of food safety management system, satisfying applicable food safety requirements that include regulatory and statutory requirements, addressing external and internal communication, ensuring continual improvement, ensuring competency related to the food safety. After the food safety policy has been approved, it shall be communicated to every interested party, including the customers, external providers, and the operators on request. Don't forget that food safety policy shall be reviewed periodically by the top management to ascertain its adherence to the organization's context. The food safety policy shall be communicated through annual staff appraisal website, notice boards, supplier contracts and evaluations, induction training, recruitment. The food safety policy should be available as documented information. The third section, organizational rules, responsibilities and authorities. In this section, the standard requires from the top management to define responsibilities, authorities, and rules throughout the organization. The top management shall be required to ensure that all authorities and responsibilities have been assigned to relevant parts and understood. ISO 22000 specify requirements for appointed food safety team leader that establish, implement, maintain, and update food safety management system as required. It makes it easy for external auditors to know the person or authority to contact whenever it needs. Now you are able to list the documented evidence required according to clause number 5. 1. Food safety policy. 2. Job description for all employees. 3. Letters of food safety team leader appointment. 
for training and competency documented information of food safety team.